Kids, let's go to the park. Yay, yeah, yeah. can we visit mommy after? Yeah, can we please eat? Sure we can, we will buy flowers for her too. They'll get ready for the park. Be ready in 20 minutes. Okay, okay daddy. daddy. They all get ready and get to the park. Only play in the park, okay? Don't talk to strangers too. Okay, daddy. Whoa, well, look. Bailey points to a flower shop down the road. A flower shop? Can we please get mommy flowers from there? Sure. Let's play first. All three of them play on the playground. Justin sees a woman with brunette hair and caramel skin. Kids, I will be right back. Stay here, okay? Okay. Justin walks up to the woman. A uh, hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. I am. I was about to leave. Sorry. She picks up her bag and takes a step to leave. Justin grabs her wrist and pulls her back. You look just like Jessica. I am sorry I don't know who you're talking about. Can I have your number? I thought you looked really pretty hair. Sure. Um. Jessica gives him a random fake number. Well, I'll call you later. Bye. The unknown woman leaves in a hurry. Justin goes to the washroom before going back to see his kids. While Justin is in the washroom, the brunette lady comes back from the corner of the park and says hello to Bailey and Tristan. Mommy. I thought you were dead. Mommy, how are you alive? They both hug unknown and kiss her on the cheek. Kids, I missed you so much. Mommy is so sorry she left you. You guys will now stay with me. But what about daddy? Yo, what will we do without daddy? Worry about him. He um he left you guys. I'm so sorry. He's an awful father. Father. Mommy used to always call daddy our daddy or dad. Yeah, you don't act like mommy. Jessica grabs both of the kids' arms and whispers to them in her real accent British. Both of you will come with me now. Pretend that I am your mommy, or else I will not let you ever see daddy again. She chuckles. Oh, okay. Mommy. All three of them walk out of the park. Justin comes out of the washroom and sees them. He starts running towards them. Stop, stop, stop. Someone get that lady, the one with the brown hair. She's taking my kids. Someone trips Justin, just face plants to the grass. The person who tripped him grabs both of his hands and pulls them to the back. Sir, you're under arrest for trying to kidnap kids. Whatever you say will be effective to you in court. Justin lifts his head and sees the brunette lady smirk at him before running away with Bailey and Tristan. With the unknown lady, Tristan and Bailey. Kids, you will now call me Jessica if anyone asks for my name. No one knows your mom is dead because you guys don't have any family. Ha 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 ha. Well, too bad for you. String, I mean mommy. W, where is daddy? Bailey, she's not mommy. She's British, and she doesn't have the mark mommy had on her face. I know, Tristan. Oh, both of you shut up already. She puts both of them into her van. Jessica calls someone. Yeah, I got them. Do you have the dad? Yes, Alyssa, I do. Perfect. Now, now give me my kids back. Oh, you really think I would give you them that easily? Haha, <laughs> she hangs up. Alyssa Arca Jessica drives to an underground building. It was across the city Tristan and Bailey lived in. They took for minus five hours getting there. They finally get to the underground building. Alyssa grabs both of the kids' arms and drag them out and into the building. W, what are you doing? Don't talk. But. Did you not hear what I said, annoying child? Sorry. Uh. The fake officer comes down the stairs into the building with Justin. Justin's face is all beaten up and bruised. B. Bailey. Tristan. He takes a deep breath. I, I'll be okay. Don't worry. If I don't see you just know I love you both so much. And that mommy will take care of you. That lady isn't your mom don't listen to A. Believe it or not. I'm Jessica. Our love was fake. Our marriage was fake. My death was fake. And you know why? Because of you. Just because of you. All of this is happening. No, I didn't die. You just kidnapped me and threw me away. You tortured me mentally and physically. I thought I was nothing. I was ashamed of myself. But I now know that. That you should've been feeling all that. You, not me. I felt like I was nothing without you. And now you feel like you're nothing without me. I know how that feels like. I know. 
because of the pain you put me through. The things you did to me are not even close to what I will do to you. Or you can choose to not go through that and instead plead guilty for abuse and so you choose. I'm both of the matters I have proof. My kids don't know I'm their mother but I am. The black mark on my neck was a bruise that you repeatedly gave me. I pretended it was a birthmark all these years. I changed my name and am now married to a man that helped me when he saw me on the streets. I love him and not you. Yes, I'm British now because I lived in the UK for about seven years now. You left me when my kids were only a few months old. I can't believe you. And now they're all grown up. So you choose now, between the two options, or I'll choose myself. Jessica, no just no, I'm not choosing. I was at a bad time in my life. I abandoned you because, because. First off, it's Alyssa. And second, you didn't have any right to abandon your wife like that. We are still married. And to get divorced, we must go to court. While we're in court, would you like to go to jail as well? Or do you want to handle everything I handled seven years ago? Choose now. I don't care what you do to me because both are bad. If I go to jail, I don't see Bailey or Tristan. Exactly my point. You don't deserve to have kids, after you told them they don't have a mother. I can't I just can't believe that you made a fake grave. And just because we don't have family doesn't mean that you can get away with this. Now, are you guilty of abuse and are to your own wife? I am okay. Yes I am. I know you are. Took you seven years to say it. Hope you're happy Justin. Alyssa storms out of the room locking it. Alyssa goes to the room where Bailey, Tristan and T are. I'm sorry kids. I swear I'm doing this for you both. When you're older, you will understand. Trust me. If your dad tells you that I'm your mum, will you believe him? I mean, why is I will believe him, but please don't hurt him. Why is please don't. He took care of us while I think you were dead. Okay, I won't hurt him because I love you both and I always will. I can't say I love you back, but I guess I will get it when I'm older. Can we see daddy? Sure honey, let me bring him. Alyssa goes to Justin and untied him. Bailey and Tristan want to see you. She walks out, leading the way to Bailey and Tristan. They get to the room. Daddy. daddy. Oh hello kids, I told you daddy will be fine. Alyssa watch them, tears come down her cheek. But she quickly wipes them away. I are uh, I am going to get food. She sniffles. Alyssa goes and cooks some pasta. She thinks, I'll never have that relationship with them. I will never. And it's not my fault. Sometimes the person you trust the most is the most unloyal. Alyssa finishes cooking and brings the food to the small table where Justin, Tristan and Bailey were. H here you go kids. Tear goes down her cheek. Alyssa, what's wrong? Yeah, why are you crying? Aren't you supposed to be mad? Oh, why is why? She wipes her tear away. I'm fine, see. She quickly turns around and goes to her room. It was the only pretty room under there. She bawls her EYs out and finally comes back out where Tear was watching Justin, Tristan, and Bailey. Our daddy has to go now. Oh, oh. Before you go, Alyssa said she's our mom. Is she actually? I thought mommy was dead. I love. Justin thinks about how she was trying to hold her tears back for the kids. And how she kept herself together for her kids. It showed how much she loved them. Why, yes. She is your mom. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys earlier. You can call her mommy. Oh, mommy. Why, yes. Can we go back home? Yes, you will go to a new home. Not your old home dot 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 in a few days. Okay. She takes Justin back to his room. She doesn't tie him up this time but just locks the door. Alyssa, I saw how much you adore them. I'm sorry, but I can plead guilty. I can't dare to lose them. Alyssa puts on an act and says, It's okay. Good night. She goes to Bailey and Tristan and shows them their room. It was quite colorful. 
as if she always had it ready. She tucks both of them in and goes to tear. You can have your kids back. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have ever done that. I was just trying to get to my kids. She goes to a room down a huge hallway and guides Tear's kids to Tear. Dad. Dad. They all cry and hug him. Why, you guys can go. But you can't tell anyone. That's my only rule. I thank you. There was a security guard that belonged to Alyssa's husband. He drives Tear and his kids back home. The next morning. Good morning, kids. Good morning, mommy. Good morning. Alyssa was ready for this day. She had clothes of all sizes and lots of toys. She gets them ready and brings them to the table. Now, your dad isn't awake but when he is, he will not see you. Me and him have to go somewhere. Okay. But while we're gone you will have many things to play with. And my friend will take care of you. She's on her way right now. She hears a knock at the door. That's her. She opens the door to see Justin's sister. Come in. Whispers Justin is asleep. But I'll wake him up and we will leave. Hello kids. I'm Stacy. And I'm your mommy's friend. You can call me at Stacy. Hello. All four of them eat breakfast. Alyssa says bye to them as she goes to Justin's room to wake him up. Wake up. HMPH okay. Me and you are going to court for the divorce. For now, you must meet someone. In the dining table area. Hello, brother. I'm sorry, but who are you? I knew you wouldn't remember me. I'm your sister. Our mom only kept one of us. You can tell who she kept. Anyways, I was adopted by other people and grew up being best friends with Alyssa. We met eight years ago. She would come to me every day after you would. You know, I was the one helping her heal until she met the love of her life. Michael. Anyways, I know you and who your real true self is. So now you guys should go. They both leave. Justin being shocked. At her here for a divorce, right? Yes, your honor. All right, here are the papers. They both sign and fill out the papers arguing who gets which property and things like that. Okay, looks like we're done, right? I, UHM, I have something I'd like to say your honor. What is it? Alyssa brings out a file from her bus. Her underground building had cameras put in every room. She recorded Justin pleading guilty of abuse and R. I have evidence that this man had abused and R. Demi. The judge watches the tape. Wow. And there really isn't any argument to be made here. The proof is here. The defendant plead guilty of ass abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, and our Alyssa Pierce gets full custody of the kids. This court is out of date. Before Justin can say anything, two officers take him to prison. Alyssa leaves thanking the judge. She goes back home. Where's daddy? Honey, he left. I'm so sorry. She hugs both of the kids. What? Both of them start crying. I know, I know. Don't worry. We are moving to somewhere safe and beautiful. After a few days, all three of them move into a two-story modern home, 2500 SQFT. They make a home there and live happily. After seven years, Bailey and Tristan are 14 and 15. She tells them everything that actually happened. They hug their mom and tell them how much they appreciate her for speaking up in court. 